Hi, welcome to this example on using the scalar product or dot product to find a particular angle in a triangle. And we're using this example here. We've got three points A, B and C with coordinates 2, minus 1, 4 for A. B has coordinates minus 3, 2, 1 and C has coordinates 5, 3, 2. So we've got to find this size of the angle ABC. Well, to do this, what I'd encourage you to do is to draw a diagram. I get so many students who say they can't draw diagrams because it's three dimensions. Don't let that bother you. Just have an origin, put three points, A, B and C, anywhere you like. Okay, we'll just put them there. This will be A, this will be B, and this will be C. And we know the position vectors of each of these three points. Remember, position vectors always come from the origin. So I've got my vector O to A is going to be 2, negative 1, 4. And the same is going to apply for B is going to be minus 3, 2, 1. And for C, it's going to be 5, 3, 2. So we've got our triangle ABC, we'll mark that in. There you go. And I'll just mark that as a dotted line there. It's coming up underneath this triangle if you like. Now we've got to find angle ABC, which is this one in here. And we're going to use the scalar product to do this. Remember, it's in that formula, cos theta, I've labelled this angle here, theta, cos theta equals essentially A dot B over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. A and B, though, are not these particular vectors out here. We've got to be careful. We've got to take our vectors A and B as vectors that come away from this angle. So we're looking at the vector BA and the vector BC. So in other words, this formula has to be changed now to this one. We'll just rub this out, okay? For this problem, it's going to be BA dotted with the vector B to C all over the magnitude of these two vectors which I can write then as BA and the magnitude of BC. So that's the formula that we're going to use to work out that angle theta. Okay, well, let's start by, first of all, finding out what the vector B to A is. So if we're working out B to A, this is a standard result going from here to here. It is going to be equal to the vector O to A minus O to B. And if we work that out, O to A is this vector, this column vector then of 2 minus 1, 4. And then we've got to subtract the column vector O to B, which is minus 3, 2, 1. Minus 3, 2, 1. And what do we get if we work this out? Well, we get 2 minus minus 3, which is 5. Minus 1 minus 2, which is minus 3. And 4 minus 1, which is 3. And similarly, we've got to work out the other vector up here, B to C. So if we were to work out B to C, B to C would be O to C minus O to B. What we get is that this equals 5, 3, 2, take away minus 3, 2, 1, and you end up with 8, 1, 1. Okay, so we've got B to A, we've got B to C. We are now in a position to work out B to A dotted with B to C. So let's just come down here. So B to A dotted with B to C is going to equal well, 5 times 
the 8. Let's just put in the parts here. 5 times 8, then we add the minus 3 times the 1, minus 3 times the 1, and finally we do 3 times that 1 there. And if you work this out, what we've got is 8 fives of 40, take away 3, plus 3, just leaves us with 40. So BA dot BC is 40. We also need the magnitude of these two vectors. A magnitude of b to a is going to be the square root then of each of the squares of these parts added together. So it's going to be 5 squared, then we've got plus 3 squared, we don't need that minus, so 3 squared, and then plus the other 3 squared. Work that out, and you end up with 43 there, so it's the square root of 43, and I'll just leave it like that. Similarly, we can work out the magnitude of BC. That's going to be the square root then of the sum of the squares of the components. 8 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. And if you work that one out, that is essentially the square root of 66. So we're now in a position to work out what cosine theta is. So therefore, we've got that cosine theta equals BA dotted with BC, which we've seen is 40. And that's divided then by the magnitude of BA, which is the root of 43, times the magnitude of BC, which is root 66. Work that on your calculator. And you'll find that you get 0 0.7508 and so on. So therefore, to get theta or angle ABC, we just need to take the inverse cosine to both sides. And the inverse cosine of this turns out to be 41.33 and so on degrees. So therefore, angle ABC, let's say we give it to one decimal place, turns out to be 41.3 degrees to one decimal place. Alright, so I hope that's given you an idea then how you go about finding an interior angle of a triangle. Don't be afraid to draw a sketch so that you can see visually which vectors you have to get and they must come away from that angle. That's the common mistake that a lot of people I find make. All right?